Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to channel Yahshua Solomon. Or no, the channel's called Welcome Back to Channel YOB. Today is November 13th, Wednesday. Uh, another vlog, just got off work. Uh, I wanted to talk about, because just came up, I was just listening to some YouTubers. And I just wanted to talk about how YouTube is oversaturated with stupid, stupid, stupidity it's just like it's oversaturated with disingenuous clickbaity boring ass youtubers they don't really have any genuine authentic takes on anything you know ones that come to mind right off the bat well the main one that really is like well known and i could just bring up right off the bat is nerd erotic he's a type of youtuber who just makes content hate content hate bait you know, everything is woke. Everything is you know, uh, 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 is, is is garbage. Everything is oh, this sucks. Oh my god! And it's just like, but then movies that do suck and garbage are garbage. That you know, everyone like that everyone likes. He will just support it. Like oh yeah, I like this. I like it. It's great. It's nice. I love this so much. Great. These people. Oh my god, YouTube is just so oversaturated with people just trying to get attention. It's like no one has anything to really say. I was watching one YouTuber talking about Prey, that movie back in, a, like, way back a couple of years ago, like, I don't know, two, three years ago. And I, said, and I remember his review on it is this channel, Mr. H, which I just think he's he's just, he, he's out in the open with his shit. He literally says, oh, I just make content so I could get a car. I don't really care. I keep making bad Star Wars movies so I could keep complaining about it so I could get a car. I get views and I get money for it. It's like, you're literally saying, like, your, your Ponzi scheme. You're literally saying, like, your, your gimmick that you just literally bitch and moan about shit just to get hate bait clicks and then you just get paid for it. And you don't really, dis you don't generally care. <laughs> you know, it's just like... <sighs> Like, it's just, there's so many people. Now, now this thing is like, YouTube is just, I don't know, man. It's oversaturated with dumbasses, in my opinion. It's just too many dumbass YouTubers. And it's just like, bruh. You know, like, I don't know. I used to watch YouTube back in the day and enjoy getting people, different people's takes because I felt like people were really being genuine, you know. And I really started getting into watching YouTuber content, you know, and like reviews around the time of you know when star wars force awakens came out i think that's when everybody started getting into reviews you know because uh, i mean it was such a big phenomena you know and i think that everybody really wanted to have their you know say you know and i think everyone realized like damn we all could do this you know but the thing is like at, at the time i thought that's cool you know we you know it's interesting to see different people's perspective and and all that but i realized that these people don't really give you a, a real perspective or a real analysis on cinema or art or anything. They just tell you what everybody else says. They follow the the the, the trend or the wave or or you know the the. They just basically say what everybody else says, you know. And that's why it's hard for me to get views or get likes or anything because I don't say what everybody else says. I say genuinely how I feel about things, you know. Like for example, the penguin that just came out. I think it's a seven out of ten. I don't think it's this great masterpiece that all these. Dumbasses are literally, it's masterpiece. It's a mass. Dude, this thing has serious flaws. The pacing, it's just, it's, the, the writing is convoluted as fuck. Sophia as a, uh, a villain is not interesting. And it's just, you're, 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 you're deviating from the main character, which is a penguin, to put, uh, to sideline him with Sophia, which is, where's all these people screaming woke? Where's all these people saying, oh, feminism, all that shit all the time? Where's all these people calling that shit out? No, now it's like, because everyone else likes it. Everyone else says it's great. Everyone says this is a masterpiece. Now all the, the YouTubers are usually say, this is woke. It's woke. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is this feminism. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. And now now they're like, this is a masterpiece. Great, great. You know? And same thing, I, I think I forgot to say, like, Mr. H, about the Prey movie, you know, that came out, like, 13 years ago. Oh, not 13 years Three years ago. You know, that movie was literally garbage. The movie is, like, you have, like, the most unrealistic character like this like native american tiny little girl who could beat up other native american hunters grown men and then she could kill the predator you know and then like no one says that's woke no one says that's feminism and shit you know and then mr h he like says this is solid i like it and then a lot because a lot of people said they liked it i'm like 
You people never even probably watched the first Predator movie. If you compare the first Predator to this shit, this is garbage. That's why they were gonna put it on fucking um, Hulu at first. It was gonna be uh, on a straight uh, straight to streaming a film. But they said, oh yeah, you know, we're just gonna put it on in the theater. I think no, did they put it in the theater? No, I don't think they put it. I think they put it on streaming right away. I don't think they. I don't remember if they put it in the theater or not. I think they did put it in the theater. But either way, that shit should have stayed in on streaming because that garbage, that shit was garbage. It had bad CGI, bad acting. They redesigned the Predator's look in his face that looks ridiculous. You know, I could go for days and talk about how bad that movie was. You know? But then, because the public says they like it, because it's probably watched by a bunch of people who don't really care about the franchise, who don't really know about the original Predator, and just seeing this for the first time, it's like, oh, it's good. I like it. It's, it's fun. It's like, you know, that's the thing about YouTubers, man. It's like, these people, they just hype on, they jump on um, bandwagons and hype and trends, and they just, they just try to get clicks by saying the same shit that everybody else is saying. Like, for example, right now, that, um, was that, um, um, Johnny Somali guy, this guy really should not be getting as much attention as he is, you know, like, this guy is just a fucking annoying ass, uh, IRL streamer, YouTuber, or whatever, that goes around to different countries and starts shit with people, and then, now that everybody, like, everybody's talking about on YouTube, it's like, it was, it was, it was, it was more interesting when it was like one or a couple YouTubers talking about him when it wasn't so saturated. But now everybody's talking about it. They're talking about the little peace statues in Korea, South Korea. Now everybody explain this to the peace statue. Oh, you don't understand. You don't understand the significance of the statues. Like, uh, every, we know every fucking YouTuber saying it. <laughs> You're not saying any news. You're not saying anything different. You're just fucking following everybody. Oh, there, that person got clicks for talking about that. I'm going to make the same video. These people are so uncreative. They're not content creators. They're, they're, pl they're plagiarizers. That's what I need to fucking say. YouTube has become, a, it has an epidemic of plagiarism. <laughs> you know, like straight plagiarism. People make the same exact videos. People, and that's another thing I want to say too. It's like, why does every YouTuber have to be a comedian? Like, stop being trying to be funny. Like, a lot of these people, oh, hi, everybody. <laughs> oh, look at this. I I'm, I'm just clicked the video. Oh, is it on? <laughs> it's like, dude, can we all stop being fucking comedians, please? <laughs> you know, just make a video. You don't need to, just be yourself. You don't need to be a comedian. You're not funny. <laughs> you know, like, just make a video. You don't need to be, like, it doesn't need to be a, a fucking comedy. Like, Eric, because they watch other YouTubers are making, uh, are com uh, jokesters. And it's like, but if, that's the thing. If you're funny, Okay, if you're funny, you actually have charisma and, and comedic timing. Yes, okay, cool. If it's naturally the way you talk to people in a comedic way, okay, cool. But don't get on YouTube and start trying to act like you're funny and like you're just like cool, like yo, bro. And then try and like, you act like you're so cool and funny. And then the most like annoying thing is that these people try to act so like down to earth and real, and, like try to make their content sound like, oh, I'm just coming from the heart. I'm being authentic. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm so comedic. And that's why you have to get League of Legends. No, no, we just got sponsored by League of Legends. Like, dude, what is this? These people are just like car salesmen. <laughs> There's no genuine like authenticity to these people at all. These YouTubers suck. They're so fucking trash. You know? That's why I don't literally try, I don't, I say like and subscribe, but I don't really try to, I don't make an effort to say it all the time. I mean, I say it once in a while, but you know, it's not something I'm like, I'm like going to say in every video, you know, usually I say, may the force be with you, peace and out, you know, and it's like, I mean, I'm not forcing anybody to subscribe or like it because it's not, I don't make this, this content to get clicks. I don't make content to get likes. I don't make content to get uh, validation from people, you know, or getting paid, you know? And it's like, you know, I, I make content so I could have a record of my life. I, it's almost like a little journal for myself, you know, so I could look back on it later on in my life. And, you know, I think it'd just be interesting to see how, you know, who, how I was feeling and, you know, what I was doing at the time, you know? But, um, yeah, I just don't, I, I feel like this, it's just fucking, I don't know, YouTube is just, it's just oversaturated with fake people, you know, there's no real personalities, and it's just like, that's why I try to be real as I can on the, my channel, I try to be honest as much as I can on my channel, you know, I try to just be myself, you know, and I used to try to act a certain way, I used to try to, you know, put on a persona to be more entertaining, but I just never, I never felt right trying to be like that, I always felt like I was pretending or acting, you know, and it felt fake, and I never, I don't like that, I just, I don't like acting like I'm, like, you know, hi, how you doing? Well, today, we're gonna do it. 
And today, I was like, oh, this shit is just so cheesy and corny. It's just like, bro, just act like yourself, you know? If you're not, you know, if you're not that charming or whatever, just, just I, I, I I'll be more interested in seeing someone who doesn't really have a lot of charisma, but they're just being honest, you know? Because I think if you, you, you just be yourself and you keep being yourself, eventually you will build your charisma because you're comfortable in your own skin. You know, it comes to a lot of these people are not comfortable, comfortable in their own skin, so they try to act like someone else. And they mimic other YouTubers and stuff, you know? Like that Johnny Somali thing. Like, I'm, I don't want to hear about this from every fucking YouTuber. YouTuber. You know, same thing with the election. I don't want to hear about the election from every fucking YouTuber. That's why I said the last video. That's the last video I'm going to make about uh, politics. Because it's just, I don't have, I don't care. I don't want to he keep hearing about it. Everyone talks about the same damn thing. You know, that's why it's hard to make videos. Because everyone talks about the same thing. If you see something that's like interesting or, you know, culturally relevant. Then everybody's going to start talking about the same goddamn thing. Because they want to rush to get all the clicks and all the views and shit. You know? It's just very disingenuous content on this on this uh, platform that I'm seeing. And it's just, you know, yesterday I was just trying to go to sleep and I was just trying to play a video. I was just trying to find a channel where I could just, you know, just have some background noise, have someone talking that I could listen to authentic authentically, you know. And even the good YouTubers, like the the channels that do make good content, the issues with them sometimes is that they they keep making the same kind of content over and over again, you know. And it's like, I mean. I, I, I try to do things that I feel like when I feel like making a video then that's what I do it and a lot of my topics are just kind of just off the dome I don't really it's just how I'm feeling or what is like you know on my mind you know and it's almost like I use this as a therapy you know I look at my channel as like me doing therapy or me just you know expressing my my likes and my interests to people you know because it's like I don't know I think that you know you know, and I, I know that it's just interesting to find channels where people are just being authentic and being themselves because, you know, it's just relatable. You know, even if you don't agree or if you don't know exactly what they're talking about, you know, it's just more relatable to find somebody who's just talking from the heart and being authentic, you know, and not perfect and not cookie cutter, you know. But it's just like, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I'm just like, I see my channel being stagnant and other channels being stagnant that are like really authentic and really cool channels, you know, like, I know I have a lot of people I subscribe to that are really cool and they just, they don't get any views, it's like they struggle. You know, there's like some channels that just completely disappeared because the guy couldn't get any views. You know, I felt bad because they had interesting takes on things. They had an interesting personality, but they weren't like hyper and like fucking uh, Mr. Beast energy or fucking Corey Kenshin energy or just comedians. And it's like even Corey Kenshin. I like Corey Kenshin, but and I like Corey Kenshin because he has like, you know, like, you know, he's religious and he's spiritual. And he, you know, he's he's positive. He doesn't curse. You know, and I kind of respect that about him, you know. But at the same time, even with his channel, it's very, like, commercial. You know, it's very, like, fake, hyper, like, Hey, whoa, hey, how you doing? <laughs> it's like, okay, man. And it's like, maybe if you stay away from that kind of channel for a while and you come back to it, it's, like, fun to watch. But if you watch it over and over again, it begins to kind of feel like a gimmick and an act that you put on. You know, like, you're just putting on a persona. And even he said in one of his videos, like, I ain't have to get into a, a character. It's like, that's the problem I'm having. It's like, you don't need to get into a fucking character. Just be yourself. You know? I think there's too many fucking channels that are like try to be like funny or comedians. And like like I don't know, it's just it just gets kinda of corny after a while and cheesy. You know even like the reviews, man, like no one is like I watch reviews and like no one says anything like like everyone has the same take on it. Like I watch the the penguin. The 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 senses and the the, the trending you know, review, you know, the, the popular analysis of the, the, the show is, it's a masterpiece, it's amazing, oh, masterclass, it's like, bro, this is not a masterpiece, okay, and people say, I, I, I don't know any show that's as good as this, like, bro, t Sopranos, that this show is ripping off, the show is ripping off Sopranos, by the way, it's ripping off fucking Sopranos, okay, <laughs> the Penguin is ripping off the Sopranos, and Sopranos is fucking ten times better than the penguin, okay? It's ten times fucking better. And, and speaking of, like, a quick thing, is like, 
it like a like this to highlight how the writer is pushing feminism. It's like she basically rips off Toy Soprano with the Penguin. By but the thing is like there's a scene in the Sopranos where Milfi, the the therapist for Toy Soprano, talks about the Oedipus Oedipus, uh, 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 Oedipus concept. You know. Or, or like Oedipus Rex or whatever, you know that Greek story about the 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 the, the guy who wanted to kill his father and sleep with his mother and all that. And the cool thing about that scene is that Tony Soprano, like I laugh because it's funny because Tony Soprano's like, "Yo, that's not what is going on here." And that's what's funny. Like he's like, "That's not what's going on here." I know that's your weird college uh, psychology course that the, that you think that all men are like that. And that's not what's going on here. I that's fucking weird. And I find it funny because it's like that's true. It's like no, nah, that's that's whoever wrote that in that in in that, in that psychology book. That's all him. <laughs> you know, that's not all men. I don't. know. That's not. That's just weird. You know. But it feels like the writer was like, oh, you know what? Let's just make it the Tony Soprano. Let's let's make the Penguin who's referencing Tony Soprano actually have that condition. Now I, I'm gonna actually make him like sexually attracted to his mom because I need to make a point. It's just like. And no one talks about that. No one even mentions how weird it is that there's like a sexual relationship with him and his mom. It's just like what? And no, it's just people just consume consume product without even really analyzing what they're consuming. And if everyone says they like it, oh, it's great. Oh my god, it's it's, it's a good show, solid show. If people don't like it, then it's oh fuck it, I don't like it. Same thing with Megalopolis. Megalopolis is, is a good movie. It's a really good movie. It's so underrated. I recommend people go when it gets on streaming and watch it. I'm going to see it when it gets on streaming. Yo. Know? But everybody who saw it said they didn't get it. And they said it sucked. Yo, know, and it's, it, it just disrespect Francis Ford Coppola, this legendary director, this guy who's made masterpieces. And it is like this dude spent all his money on this movie with his own money and produced it himself. And then you guys are just gonna shit on it and move on. Like, there's no, no one's gonna even go in depth and analyze the film. They're just gonna say, just, just shit on it. That's why I'm like, I'm, it's like, that's why I make content so that you guys could get a, a voice of reason or a voice of authenticity. You know, because there's too many shitty ass YouTubers nowadays, man. I really think that, like, YouTube is just oversaturated with just a bunch of clickbaiters. You know, people who just wanna get clicks. You know, and then these channels have shit tons of subscribers. I'm like, Dude, how? Why are people subscribing to this? I guess it's like McDonald's. You know, and that's how you gotta look at your content that you make. You know, don't be discouraged that you got like not that many views. You know, because like, you know, not everybody is into quality food. You know, not everybody's into like gourmet food. You're like, you know, when you're making something that's actual quality, not everybody has a palate for that. People are more gonna go to McDonald's. You know. Than a Italian gourmet restaurant. More people are gonna stop at McDonald's. That's, that's how you're gonna, you have you have to look at YouTube. You know, people are gonna consume McDonald's uh, content, cheap, quick, easy, simple content. You know, they're not gonna they're, 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 any they're not gonna uh, to give a chance to a YouTuber who's like being himself, really himself. You know. And that's why it's like you know, don't be discouraged by your subscriber count, your your views. Just keep making content because eventually you might make one video and you're going to get all these people that watch you and they're going to be like, oh, this guy's cool. And then they're going to go back and watch all your other videos. You know, I've heard many stories of people who worked and worked on their, their channel, you know, and they're struggling for years. And then one video comes out and it is, they blow up, you know. So that's why you have to keep making content and not get discouraged. You know, it's just harder now to, you know, make content in, on this platform because there's so many people. It's over like it's oversaturated. You know, everybody now is a YouTuber. Everybody now is a streamer. Everybody now is make, playing, uh, doing Let's Plays and stuff. You know? That's why it's more important for you just to be yourself. You know? It's just, I don't know. YouTube used to be fun, but I'm just kind of just getting tired of the content that I'm seeing on YouTube. You know, it's just everybody says the same shit. Everyone's about politics. Everybody's about just, like, fake reviews. Everybody's just about... You know, uh, the Mansphere talking about masculinity. It's just like everybody just talks about the same shit. It's just so boring, man. It's boring. You know, that's why I try to be myself so that at least you get some authenticity, you know. But that's about it, guys. I'm going to get out of here. I got a long journey ahead of me. Um, as always, be safe. May the force be with you. Peace and out. <laughs>